nose fractured twice, right shoulder dislocation, had an arthroscopy on my right knee, L4 slip disc, L5 stress fracture. And that's all from dance. You think I'd be playing rugby or something. See how you've overswung her? <laughs> Bring her here. You come up to a flat bar, arms go out to the side. So one, two, three, four, out five, six, back. Yes. Is that short no, it is full full name Millie. So bend both legs and pull away. Four. So this hand comes in. Four. Now in the middle of the back, sir. Here, come up. You're lift them up. Oh, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> My name's Gary Lang. I'm a Larrakia man. I'm from Darwin. The conversation happened last year with the Darwin Symphony Orchestra and they went Shostakovich and Richter's Four Seasons, Valdi's Four Seasons. And it was a very hard time, but I used dance to help my soul to heal. I created. Yes, Gary is a, has been a mentor for me, both in my personal life as well as a dancer. Yes, yeah, so Gary will often tell us a story, traditional story or something that's happened to him in his life to help explain a movement or how he would like us to portray something. But when I saw her dance one of my pieces, Mukoi, it was about the youth suicide. She was just divine. Just turned 35, so, you know, all the old niggles are starting, everything just sort of aches a bit more now. Yeah, my hips just quite often are just in, you know, I mean, pain most days. Quite often push through, because um, you want to be on stage, and it's amazing to be on stage, so you just forget about the pain. <laughs> but when you see a mature dancer or an older dancer person in there, mid-twenties, going into their thirties, you know, like, when you see them dance, it's heaven. Kathy is someone that I look up to and I think that she is an incredible dancer and performer. I met her properly when I started coming to Gary's classes. So I've known Kathy for quite a long time, since I was about 15. Kathy also went to WAPA before me a long time ago, but that is a connection that we both share. She was trained classically. Um, I did the contemporary dance course. Seeing her live in Darwin, which is home for me, uh, is quite cool to look at her working here and still working here after so many years and to be able to come back and collaborate with Kathy and perform alongside her is a lovely thing to be able to do. To me, I see Kathy as a divine woman. She's a divine soul. But my dancers are exquisite to me. Like with Millie, I've always wanted, Millie came to me as a young person, went to Darwin High School, did dance there, and then went away to Whopper. And then this year I asked her if she could dance with us, and that was with the Darwin Symphony Orchestra. And she said yes. And I'm going to give notes, but I just need to see Millie for a moment by, by herself. So, so, key, boom, it's like, take that breath, and you know, and she gave what I asked of her. She's beautiful. She is, like again, I said about the Four Seasons, she was one of my muses for the choreography. We're talking about Kathy and Millie, you know, they, they're my muses for the dance and that was part of me, my healing. So as Millie walked around, everybody, and they stopped, but it was the constant flow. There was no stopping for that person's soul. And that's how I saw myself. The three companies that I've worked with, AIDT, the company first, Bangara, and Dance North. You know, when you step away from being in companies and freelancing, and that, you wonder where, how you fit within the dance world within Australia. 
where I fit, and I've got to quote this lady, Lucette Alders, one of the legends of the Australian ballet. And she sat and just observed my work for a whole week. You know, I'm real bunhead and she's one of my idols too. And she just sat and observed and then old woman, she got up and walked to me and she said, your work isn't contemporary Aboriginal dance, it's Aboriginal ballet. And it resonated right for me. I like the aesthetics of classical ballet. I look at it and because I like the lightness of it and I will always try to tell my stories or the, take the essence of Indigenous culture into the dance itself. And especially if I'm doing gestures of cultural dance, I will always ask family members. So it's an understanding where it's come from and where it is now. Two years ago, after being with some, somebody for 12 years and then being left with walking out, being blamed, it was a point of, within 2018, three times I wanted to commit suicide because I had nothing. I couldn't see beyond the rest of the world what was happening for me. I felt very alone. I had a breakdown, went to Sydney. And it's amazing how many people you know just step back from everything. No, how you going? What's happening? Might have been going, yeah, I'm all right. No, I wasn't. I was really messed up. I've had to distract my mind. And that's where I threw myself into it, Valley's Four Seasons. That was all the aggressive stuff, that how the intense part of that music was like. It's gr grinding, but it was, oh, it was beautiful, but it was reflecting my soul. And then when I heard about Vivaldi's Four Seasons, Max Richter, it, it's great because it was, there was Shostakovich and that was the first part of me. And that Vivaldi's Four Seasons is where my soul is now. It's so light, it's beautiful. Seeing things differently, moving differently, it's like, it just makes my soul live. It takes me to places. I think there was a question that was asked, you know, what sort of inspires me to create? My dancers do, but I have a story in my head and the music presents itself to that story. I would absolutely agree that dance is healing and it does have a beautiful capacity to sort of mend um, wounds or heartaches. Working as a dancer brings its own challenges and there are hard days within that but in my personal life and outside of the room if I come in and dance and move my body and get to be connected in that way with myself. It's very introspective often, and that is something that you don't often get to check in with yourself as much as you do in a dance class and sort of ask yourself if you're okay and if your body's okay and how things feel. I think it is quite healing for some people. Instead of being so rigid, it's giving them the permission to just relax and just move and just be. I think that is healing. And working with Gary also, he asks you to do that a lot, is to really analyse how movements feel, if things are hurting, why that might be, and to get to the source of those and sort of look inside yourself and sort of have that analysis makes it 
quite yeah, a healing experience. For dancers, so similar to myself, where I'm transitioning into another phase of my life. Now that you know I'm getting older, I can't quite hit the lines that I used to. I'll try and dance as long as I can, but you know, I'm thinking about family. Like I said, I'm 60. I give myself another four years and I'm going to go and do knitting. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gary and I have spoken and, and um, I'm definitely interested in picking up a bit more choreography and um, yeah, pursuing that line. But that's what my hopes and dreams that someone from the Territory will keep this value of what I'm trying to work with the NT Dance Company and keeping that sort of Aboriginal ballet style um, and moving it forward. <laughs>